In this session, let's learn about the database memory architecture. We know Oracle database creates various memory structures for various purposes. Right? Yes, there are two basic memory structures. They are your SGA which refers to shared global area and your PGA which refers to program global area. The shared global area is a set of memory structures which are used to store your data and the control information related to a Oracle instance. Examples of data stored in a shared global area can be your program code, cache data that is shared among the users, redo log entries, information about the currently connected sessions and information that is shared among multiple database processes. Okay, each of these memory structures within the shared global area will help in storing various information related to the database. Okay, the reason it is called as shared is because all the information present in this shared global area is shared by all the processes. Okay, the other memory structure is program global area. This program global area is a non-shared memory. That means it doesn't share the data stored in this program global area with any other processes. Okay, each server process and a background process will be allocated a program global area and the data stored within that program global area is only visible to the specific server process. Okay, in summary, there are two memory structures. They are shared global area and program global area. The information stored in the shared global area is shared among all the processes whereas the information stored in the program global area is exclusive to the server process. Okay, we will be learning about each one of these memory structures in detail in the coming sessions. Okay.